Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the free online design tool called Canva. So Canva is no secret, it's available online and it's completely free, but it came to my attention recently that a few of my DJ friends didn't know about it and they were still using paint to do their designs. Say what? And I've kind of thought, oh, if they don't know about it, that probably means there's loads of other DJs who don't know about it either. It's what I use right now to make all my YouTube thumbnails. It's just really nice to have a something which is helps me with my design. So yeah, this video is just to kind of really let you know what it is and just jump on there and, and, and start using it because it's free. So let's jump into it. It's spelled C-A-N-V-A, -A, Canva. So this is the home screen. Obviously you're gonna to have to log in first and set up an account and do all that registration business, but it's just like any other thing, so I'm not gonna take you through that. So I'll run you through all these things on the side. First, we've got to create a design. So that's how you can create a design from scratch. These are all your designs. This is kind of like your saved folder, I guess, everything you've done in the past. Templates, basically these are all different resolutions which are set to the resolutions for that platform already for you. So we've got Facebook posts, Insta stories. This is one I normally use, YouTube thumbnails. Let's keep going. So we've got photos. Canva has a good library of stock footage that you can use and put in all the designs. So that's another reason why it's so useful. You can grab things and it's all license free and you can use it. So that's amazing. Apps, I don't really use this too much, but you can extend the functionality of the whole platform if you want. Brand kit, this is quite useful if you're gonna be using it a lot. You can put in your brand colors, um, you can put in your logo, and you can also put in your fonts, which you use regularly. So if you wanna kind of create a consistent brand look, you can do that here. Design school, this is like a separate thing. It's kind of tutorials and walkthroughs of their features and just kind of general courses you can do on branding and marketing. And then if you've got a team which is gonna be working, you can you know, invite people and get them all working on the same account. Again, not gonna be that useful if you're a DJ. So let's start a project. As I say, I would normally go to templates, but let's pretend we're gonna be making a flyer. Me and my buddies have just started a new radio station on Mixcloud Live called Drop Beats Radio. So let's say we were gonna make a flyer for that just to let everyone know that we're gonna be streaming on Sunday. I click on flyers and then I can choose something which I think will be suitable. So I like this one. I think the colors work well together and the font's nice. And yeah, it's basically, I could see me customizing this to kind of make it look how I want it to basically. So yeah, it has all the colors, the brand colors, and it's got all their numbers and stuff like that. And also the fonts used, which is super useful. All the elements that are used. So yeah, let's use this template. Click up here, boom, boom. So as I say, as is gonna be called Drop Beats Radio. So we could just go in here and start customizing. But yeah, that looks okay to me. This is just like your normal canvas, basically. Like, so you've got, it works in layers, so I can select different layers and I could bring them forwards or bring them back by right clicking. So say I wanted to put that to the back, I could go chop, send it back, I could send that back. And yeah, it just works like Photoshop or anything like that. These are all pretty self-explanatory. I won't go into those in too much detail. That one's quite cool. You can move things around in, in regards to, you know, the positioning of where you want it. We can copy style, this is transparency, and we can add in links. This one is a useful one. So say I wanted to lock the background in place, I could click there, click lock, and then that would lock that, but everything else I could move separately. So let's bring everything forward. You can also group things together. So if I select those two, and let's do it like that, select those three, I can click here, group them, and now I can move them individually and resize them individually, which is cool. I'll just go through these things on the side real quick. Again, they're quite self-explanatory and you're probably better off just jumping in here and playing around with things if you want, but the main point of this video was just to kind of let you know that it exists in the first place. We've got photos. So we can bring any of these in, start chucking them in. So you can see you can either just put them into the background or into a certain element and it will replace them. You can then rotate stuff. So you can see here, it says it's either free or not. So this one's free, this one's pro. So the pro ones, you're not gonna be able to use unless you're paying for the pro version. Let's keep going. We've got elements. So these are like little pictures you can put in and backgrounds or shapes. 
loads of cool useful stuff again you get free ones and you get paid for ones we've got text here so say we wanted to change that out we would ungroup that we could get rid of that you can either put in these individually or you can bring in a pre-made one but yeah they're basically going to be all grouped together again so you could ungroup it and say you just wanted the top two bits you could get that and delete that music this is obviously not going to apply for a flyer that you're making but you can also make kind of little animated things that you can put on your insta stories and stuff like that so that's where you can choose your music for that and also videos you can choose stock footage for the same purpose here we've got our background so we've got patterns gradients abstract things uploads these are your own individual elements you can bring in so as you can see i've brought in some photos of me my logo and some other past things which i've used in thumbnails for my youtube channel here you can do a bit of organizing so your logos just dj stuff different uses that which you use i don't think that's that important but it's worth knowing that they're there so that's the main functionality of the the program right there um, if you want to rename your file you click up here so you'd put like um, I don't know stream idea and when you want to download it you click here and download it and it's as simple as that really you can also share them in other ways so you could download or share the link or put it straight to your Facebook page or Twitter anything like that One thing worth mentioning is that this here resize is another pro version. So that's the main reason I pay for the pro version because I need to be constantly resizing all of these for whatever platform I'm designing for. So I mostly use YouTube, but then I also post some things on Instagram and Pinterest. So rather than having to start those designs again, I found it easy to just pay for the pro version. Then I can click resize and I can repurpose the content. So say I wanted to make it into this Pinterest, I could just do that. It would make a copy and then I could change it and I would have the old one and the new one and I could download them all together. So we downloaded that one as a PDF. You can do different versions. I don't know why we download it as a PDF actually. Normally it comes through as a PNG. So yeah, PNG suggested. So there you go, there's Canva. Hopefully this video didn't drag on too long. The main thing is I just wanted to let you know that it existed in the first place. You can probably figure out how to use it on your own. You know, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like. Um, that's always really useful to me. And if you're not already, please click subscribe and also the notification bell. I'm trying to hit my target of a thousand subs still. I'm around 225 away, so I'm getting close. I'd be really appreciative if you could go and do that for me. That'd be amazing. Let me know if you've got any comments and any suggestions for videos that you want in the future. I tend to make content around DJ stuff like mixing, scratching, idea breakdowns of other DJs and just tools that you can use around DJ to help you in your career. Cheers guys, bye.